Good morning, Sunray community. It has been a great first two weeks of school. The enthusiasm, the uh, just the general attitude of the school year has been awesome as we start off the school year. Uh, as I drove by the football stadium this morning, I saw the flags flying. I want to reach out and thank the Booster Club for taking the time to put those flags out and promoting that cat spirit. Last night, our JV tr uh, trampled all over Highland Park. They did an awesome job, and those kids had the spirit of the cat, and they were just motivated, and the fans were motivated, and it was just a great experience uh, to watch our kids and our community be that involved in promoting uh, Sunray ISD and the students of Sunray because it is a great day to be a Bobcat. Just to, on those notes, just to bring you up to speed, last night the board adopted a balanced budget. The tax rate will remain the same. And we began a discussion with the city a couple of weeks ago with Rob Roach. I want to reach out and thank Rob uh, for his work, the city. But he and I and the board last night visited about uh, we're working on an interlocal agreement to put the placement of the softball field uh, in, in conjunction uh, with the uh, baseball field down at Greg Smith Memorial Park. So we'll be working, these two entities will be working together uh, to enhance the park down there and signing an interlocal agreement. And once again, as, as two of your entities, county, city, school, all those entities work together, it only benefits the community of Sunray. The playground equipment uh, is, is set to be installed the last week of September. We had a, a delay on that with a back order, uh, but we're working aggressively on that to get that in place. And so by the first part of October, all that equipment will be in and we'll have a ribbon cut and then we look forward to that equipment being in. The renovation programs are quickly wrapping up on the middle school and the elementary school. Uh, we're still working at the high school. Uh, we should have that wrapped up by November uh, and you guys will have an open house and let everyone come in and see where their tax dollars are going. And, and I want to thank you again as the school superintendent for the effort and, and passing the last bond because it, it, it allowed us to bring our school, your school, into the 21st century learning environment. And I want to thank you for that. Uh, as you have evaluated, like I have and like many Texans have, uh, you've looked down and see the, the tragic events that have taken place in Southeast Texas. And what we will be participating in tonight at the football game, the concession stand, the bands, the flags flying, uh, touchdowns happening, cheerleaders cheering, the excitement of Friday Night Lights. Many schools in Southeast Texas today will, in many communities, uh, we'll be missing that because of the floods. Many homes are flooded. Many uh, families are separated because of the water. And it's just tragic because what we hold important to us a lot of times, our personal possessions, our money, and, and items like that uh, quickly fade away uh, when we see flood waters rising. Hurricane Harvey was the, light, was the worst hurricane in the state of Texas since 1961. Um, and so it kind of takes your breath away when you look at the pictures. And so we began to look at how we could help out as a community and how we could, what we could do as a community. And one of the areas I came across was a organization called Starve Hope Homeless Shelter downtown Houston. It's a 110 year old homeless shelter uh, that is Christian based. And so tonight, during the third quarter, our cheerleaders will be passing boots on both stands, uh, collecting your loose change and donations, uh, and we will gather all that up, and we will send one check uh, to the Starve Hope Homeless Shelter next week. Once we get all that gathered up, we'll take a picture of the check, and we'll put that information out there on Facebook and different things to let you know as a community what you gave back. Being uh, relocated to the Panhandle, Texas, and choosing to relocate myself and my family up here, one of the main reasons I did was because of the generous spirit of the people of the Panhandle and the spirit of giving and the spirit of, of uh, the work ethic and the morals and, and just an overall good place to be at. So tonight when you enjoy your, your concession stand food and you watch the the football players score touchdowns and you hear the horn going off and the flags and the band and all that, just take a moment and remember that there's communities in, in our great state 
uh, they're not having that opportunity tonight. So tonight during that third quarter, I ask that you take your dig deep in your pockets and let's help, help let's help out some folks that uh, that we've never met and let them know where Sunray ISD and Sunray Texas and the Panhandle of Texas is at. Um, as the longer I'm here, the more I experience such a giving spirit, not of money, but of just parents and community members. Uh, this last week, I had an opportunity, it was on Wednesday, to go out and help uh, our new ag teacher, Kendall Alexander, and her kids and, and some parents help clean up that, the school farm. And between the, the county, Moore County, with Lynn Cartwright, Cartwright our county commissioner, uh, they were give, they gave some funds to the FFA, and with a combination of those funds with the school district, we were able to go in there and cover uh, some pens and, and start some renovation programs down there to make that a uh, the pride of Sunray FFA and Sunray 4-H. I want to thank those parents and those kids and Miss Alexander for organizing that and for just just bringing that program back into a good light and a good standing in our community. If you drive into Dumas and drive out of Dumas, you'll notice our billboards. Uh, that is a way not to promote our school, but to remind everybody in Moore County about Sunray ISD. And it is a great day to be a Bobcat. I hope to see you at the football game tonight. I hope you dig deep in your pockets and donate to the Star of Hope Homeless Shelter. And once again, if you ever need anything and or ever have any questions about what's going on at your school district, please take an opportunity to come by and talk to me. Uh, and, and express concerns or congratulations or compliments. Uh, we may not always agree, but at least we will be able to sit and visit about it. As always, it is a great day to be a Bobcat, and thank you uh, for allowing me to be your school superintendent.